Now, as you may have heard as of lately, YNW Melly got locked up and is facing some very serious charges. Well, YNW Melly is most likely going to be facing life locked up because of what we have to talk about later in this video. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way until the end because we have some very serious stuff to talk about. Also, if you guys are a fan of YNW Melly, be sure to leave a like on this video right now. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would like to join our iPhone X giveaway. Now, YNW Melly, the creator of huge hit songs such as Mixed Personalities, Mama Cry, and Blue Balenciagas, is literally the perfect example on what not to do as soon as you become a famous rapper in the industry. YNW Melly at a very, very young age, at only 19 years old, could be facing life locked up due to him allegedly taking out two of his best friends who is also known as YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. On October 26, 2018, YNW Melly and his three friends YNW Juvie, Sack Chaser, and Cortland Henry were all out driving around when allegedly YNW Melly came across a drive-by, and in the drive-by, apparently, YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser got hit, and they sadly passed away. Juvie and Sack Chaser were longtime friends of Melly, and they've even said so in their documentary that YNW Melly made about his life and how he was growing up and things like that. They said in the documentary that they were all brothers and nothing would ever tear them apart. Well, maybe something did actually tear them apart as the police did their investigation and it turns out that it was literally impossible that a car could have drove by, but it actually had to have happened while inside the car where all four of them were and where my YNW Melly and Cortland Henry were sitting inside the car. Allegedly that Cortland Henry and YNW Melly were both sitting on the left hand side of the car. Juvie and Sack Chaser were both on the right. Cortland Henry was the one driving. I don't remember if it was Juvie or Sack Chaser in the front passenger seat, but it was one of them. And then Melly was on the left side of the car in the, pa in the back seat, so behind Cortland Henry. And then Juvie, I think, was in the back seat with Melly. Now, Melly did plead non-guilty while in court, and a lot of people are talking about it and saying that there is no way that YNW Melly could have ever done this. Just because of the past that these all of these guys have together, I mean, they grew up in a bad neighborhood together. They were always there for each other whenever things were going rough and things like that. Skipping school, you know, learning dance moves and stuff, how they said in the documentary that Melly made on YouTube. You would think that, you know, there's no way that Melly could have done this. But after you read through the evidence that was found by the police, I mean, it does kind of, you know, favor in the way that Melly is guilty of doing this. I don't want Melly to be guilty just because I am a fan of Melly, but as a video creator, I can't be, you know, saying the wrong information. This is all information that I found online on like really popular news websites on hip hop and things like that, like Double XL. But as of right now, the evidence that the police have is sort of small, but it is pretty convincing, honestly. Right now, the only thing that the police really have right now that is probably the most important to me reading all of it is that there was a bullet casing found inside of the car where exactly YNW Melly was sitting. And in case you kind of are unaware of how, you know, firearms work and things like that, basically wherever you fire it, that's where the casing goes. So if the casing was found inside of the car, then, you know, put the puzzle together, that means that it was fired inside the car. And unless Melly just, you know, accidentally had this inside the car already, it's gonna look pretty terrible for him in court when they're just gonna, you know, pin this on him and then the judge is most likely just gonna say, you know what, yep, that is pretty convincing and he's probably gonna send Melly off to life locked up. Just because that's how good this evidence is, I mean, there's tons of cases in the past where if a casing is found anywhere near the crime scene, and if it especially is in the same car as when this incident happened, they're most likely going to be getting life locked up due to it. Now, just in case you kind of are unaware of how these things work, whenever you find evidence of a casing or something along the lines of that inside of a closed place, so meaning the car was closed, the doors were never opened, they never usually are during a drive-by. I mean, if you do open the door, you're probably crazy because you, the door is what's protecting you, to be honest. So this is well, this was a closed place. 
So if the casing was found inside of the closed place, I mean, that's pretty good evidence proving that Melly could have done it because that means nobody came in the car and did it. And when Melly was telling the police what happened, he never said the words, you know, the guys came in the car and tried to jump us and rob us and things like that. They didn't say anything like that. So there is no reason that a casing should be found in the car. But there is one way that they can get, you know, around it, and that's if the casing is old. I mean, sometimes people, I guess, have casings lying around their house and things like that just for fun or whatever. But if they could prove that the casing is old, this will get thrown out the window. So just to sum it up, if you are a YNW Melly fan, you're going to want this casing to be found as old so the evidence will get thrown out of court. If not, there's going to be a really big issue because Melly and Cortland Henry are most likely going to be end up facing life due to this. So if you are a fan, just pray that the casing is old and that they don't find anything else. Me personally, I feel as if YNW Melly, he may be guilty here just because of the evidence that is found. And I'm just going with that. I hope he's not though, but I think he is. As I said, YNW Melly did say he was innocent though. And he even backed up a statement by writing this to Instagram saying this, and I quote, to all my fans and supporters, no, I did not get locked up in Washington, but I am turning myself in today. I want you guys to know that I love you and appreciate every single one of y'all. A couple months ago, I lost two of my brothers due to violence, and now the system wants to find justice. Unfortunately, a lot of rumors and lies are being said, but no worries, God is with me and my brother, and we want y'all to remember, it's YNW family, I love you, hashtag free us. Now, I just showed you the photo and the caption of what Melly posted to his Instagram page, but let's just talk about it a little bit. So as I said earlier in the video, Melly did release a documentary talking about his life growing up and his close brothers and whatnot in the documentary. And I do gotta admit, Juvie and Sack Chaser and Cortland Henry, these guys were talked about a lot. And I mean, it seemed like they were literally brothers, like obviously they weren't brothers, but they are brothers to heart and throughout the entire documentary you know they always had great things to say about one another and things like that so honestly melly could be telling the truth here in this situation i mean why would you want to take out two of your best friends you know two of your brothers but i just this is the thing i just don't understand is i think honestly to take out two people there needs to be a motive for it especially if these two people you're talking about are your close and best friends I mean, there's got to be some sort of motive behind it. And as of right now, the police literally haven't found pretty much anything. The only thing that they have towards motive for this to even happen with my W Melly is Melly's mom talking about to Juvie to leave Melly alone literally back in like 2015 because Juvie was trying to turn Melly into something that he's that his mom doesn't want him to be. I mean, it's a very long story and I can't even show you the video anymore because the video of YNW Melly's mom actually got copyrighted by his record label. So I can't even show you that, which is starting to get really ridiculous. But yeah, pretty much Melly's mom made a video back in 2015 on Facebook telling Juvie to back away from Melly if you don't want to mess with her and things like that. And Juvie had some other things to say. I mean, that's pretty much the only motive that is found for this. So it is going to be pretty interesting. Their court date is coming up. So we're just going to have to wait for that. Now, also, if you guys are looking to promote your music here on my channel, make sure you go to my Instagram and DM me saying music promotion. And I'll get back to you. Anyways, today's music promo is going to my man Savadushi. He wants to show you guys his new song called Man Down. I actually got to I have to shout him out just because, you know, he is a hometown guy. He lives near me. So I got to I got to shout him out. If you guys want some music promotion, make sure you go to my Instagram, as I said. But anyways, if you guys do enjoy this snippet of this song, make sure you listen to the full down below in the description. I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Man down, man down. You always in the background. Ooh, I better put the yak down. I'm swerving through downtown. Ooh, don't fuck till sundown. Koreans with the dogs down. Ooh, I'm a ball like Georgetown with three rings with the top down Ooh, ooh I'm a mom like a free throw I'm closing the door with no people I told you my team got the cheat code I know we ain't showing you people And we got the weapons we leave though Since you